Yo, this is a very important video. Y'all gotta stay tuned all the way to the end because I'm about to break this down. And y'all really need to stay tuned. Long story short, I don't usually start off in an hourly time frame, but I am today. Anyways, y'all can see we are falling. We already got rejected by the 100 EMA. Now we're getting rejected by the 20 EMA. We just fell below the 200 EMA on the hourly. And we're right here. This is my danger zone. I've been had this. Y'all watch my content. This is the exact same chart and it's doing. It only had two options that it could have done. And I'm going to show y'all that towards the end of what it actually did. But anyways, as y'all can see right here at the danger zone, I said once we get around this area, it's going to fall. It's going to. We about to see the real crash. The little, little crash that we've been having. No, this one right here is not going to compare. You know what I mean? Like I told y'all in my last video, and once it gets down here, we're looking at like a 60%. The 70, 75% drop in the markets, and you know the altcoin's gonna do much worse. But anyways, at least for the time being, right? Bitcoin can come back up here, right? Since it dropped off like that, so we'll come back up here and tap this 20 MA, recover this candlestick, basically. So I'll say come back around 23,000, right? You know this general area, right? 220 MA, and then after that, and then we're gonna complete the drop. It's gonna continue dropping. But y'all can clearly see that we lost the support right here. I mean, once it's below that, that 100 EMA, I mean, it's, it's over. And it fell below 200. It's over. This is a drop is starting now. And like I said, I'm going to show y'all the end of what it really did. All right, on the 4 hourly, y'all see the same thing. This thing just dropped below the 100 EMA on the 4 hourly. The 20 about to drop below. And the 50 is <laughs> bad. This is about to be the crash that I've been talking about. It's about to go down to $10,000 really fast so y'all pay attention but anyways it's a four hourly as y'all can see it made it three attempts to the high at one two and then peaked out that last time and that's when they caught everybody off guard and dropped it below the support right here and this blue line is a previous support right here you see this why i already had it here once it dropped below this it's over it's going down and i'm just being real and this is like literally y'all last chance to get out because it, it could get serious, man. It could even drop below $10,000. I'm just being honest. Because I'm expecting this thing to go down all around $5,500. That's my predicted low for Bitcoin before reversal. But anyways, as y'all can see in my chart, this was a hopeful, you know, come up here, recover this candlestick, come back now. Nope, it only came up and recovered half the candlestick and called it a day. And now we're making that drop twice as fast as we thought. Only, only way we could see a reversal like... It literally have to reverse before 22.5 and shoot all the way up and tap this some, somehow. But I doubt that's going to happen because they already made, look, one, two. This is the third attempt to the high. Y'all see this on the daily. That's why you got to look at all the charts now so you can really understand what you are really seeing. And I always tell y'all, I can make a love doing things by three. One, two, three. Boom. You can see that head and shoulders right there. It's about to drop. Once it get below here. I mean, like I said, we could get a crazy bounce up, but either way it goes, it's going to drop, man. And like I showed y'all before, look, one, two, three hits to the low already. That's when we got to reverse it. So when it come back down here, it's going to fly down here. It's not going to be nice. You know what I mean? It might slow down a little bit around 19000 but it's still going at $10,000. Now here where it get juicy at, right? It's on the weekly chart, right? As y'all can see, this is what I predicted for it to come up. Boom, tap this pop. Like I told y'all, it's either going to tap this 20 EMA on the weekly or this 100 EMA on the weekly. It came and hit the 20 EMA on the weekly, and now they're reversing. It tapped it, and now it's calling it a day, and we going down. And like I said, this is a large head and shoulder formation. It always start, stops where it started at, and it started right here at $10,000. Y'all can see right here, September 2020. It's going to drop all the way. Like from here, it's going straight down to $10,000. And also in this chart, I got it bouncing back up, hitting, hitting the 14000 and then dropping all the way back down to the 5500 I'm predicting. And then we'll get a sharp correction all the way up to 20000 And that's confirmation. You might as well hop in once to do that. You know what I mean? Well, anyway, down here, obviously, you you chilling for life. But anyways, that's the weekly chart. Now I'm looking at the monthly chart. Oh, let me go back to the weekly. I meant to show y'all this without the picture. All right, boom. Without the picture, right? You see, hit the hit clearly hit this 20 MA right here. Boom. This is why reversing. And now you see the bottom of the candlestick is past this wick. It's going to drop down. That is how I know. Now, let me show y'all the monthly now. Now, on the monthly, it came up, hit the 
the 50 EMA on a monthly. Now, let me take this picture away. Boom. Y'all can clearly see it tapped it with that wick. And now it's going down. It's going to have to recover this candlestick really fast. Like I said, around 19,000. Then it might trick you a little bit. Go up a little bit. You know, then it's going to shoot. It's going to shoot down here at 10,000. Right here. Recover you all these candlesticks around 10,000. Y'all can clearly see why. But yeah, that, that's what I'm looking for. And for the longer picture, put this, put this back up. It's a larger pattern, right? Boom, this will be the retracement. Retracement come down to $10,000. And like I said, they had to do this within a month, though. Because like when they make this $5,000 drop, it's going to be the quickest recovery that you probably ever seen. Like y'all heard about the, about the bear market. Not the bear market, but the, um, the bull market before when it first started. Like that's what it's going to be like. It's going to recover. All the market is going to recover so fast into its almost unlikely you'll be able to get back in if you already got lost in the market before this happens and that's what i'm trying to explain to people because this isn't the last drop or this could be the complete drop because like i said whenever you're getting around ten thousand dollars it can literally continue to drop all the way down to 5500 like i said and but whenever that happens like i say it's going to be the quickest recovery you probably will ever see in your life but anyways Anything I just said is not financial advice at all. Y'all growing, y'all make your own decisions, but like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.